President Akufuado has sworn into office an eight-member council of the civil service. He charged them to tackle corruption in the service, which, according to him, is a major problem, hampering the growth of the country and needs to be tackled as part of the overall measures to ensure national development. The council is chaired by a retired justice of the Supreme Court, Madame Ruth Constance Uzu. who is currently the head of the civil service, a retired justice of the Supreme Court, Justice Henry Aban, a retired civil servant, Mr. Edwin P. D. Banks, and Mr. Isaac Kwame Siyama of the National Development Planning Commission. Others are Mr. Isaac Bampu Adu from the Civil Servants Association and two presidential nominees, Mrs. Mary Melda Amadu and Mr. Isaac Tete Ajuvu. President Akufuado urged them to execute their duties in line with the 1992 constitution which stipulates the setting up of the council to ensure that challenges within the service are dealt with effectively. He said they should perform their duties without partisan considerations or partiality. Our objectives today are paramount because they are objectives that have been defined for us by the people of Ghana whom we all serve. And they did so in accepting the platform on which we went to them. That is the meaning of the mandate in a democracy, that the policies on which we were elected are the policies of our people today. You have to be guided by what is in the interest of the country. You have to be guided by what is in the interest of our people. The public interest of Ghana should be your main consideration. The chairperson of the Civil Service Council, Justice Ruth Constance Wusu, gave the assurance that members of the council would perform their duties diligently. With the diligence, abiding by the oath that we have taken, and promise not to let you down. You can always count on our support, and we will also get ourselves ready at your disposal for whatever duties you call upon us to discharge. The Civil Service Council is responsible for making rules, regulations and amendments for the smooth administration of the ministries.